And let's talk about loneliness, Oprah, because when I interviewed you, one of the things that really struck me was uh, two things, really. You've been through some very tough times in your life and you were very frank and honest about them. And also, when I said to you to, to name how many people you would consider to be really, really good friends, you said probably less than five, one of whom is sitting with me, Gail. Uh, have you had periods of real, genuine loneliness in your life, do you think? Absolutely not. Um, as I was listening to you all, I was thinking, uh, first of all, that 45% figure is really striking and it makes me sad. And I think this effort of the, on the part of the magazine is a way to try to change those figures for people who do feel that sense of loneliness. But Gail will tell you, uh, Stedman will tell you that I, I am really happy being with myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, with yourself have, and your thoughts yeah. and my thoughts. Yeah, she is so, very happy. Gail will say, what are you doing? <laughs> like, are, you having, are you being alone with your thoughts? Yeah. I, I, I really get recharged from being alone. I spend a lot of time. I mean, Stedman's on the road a lot. So I spend a lot of time with myself and the dogs. And uh, I, I really enjoy that because I, I, I feel I never feel like, oh, gee, I don't have anybody to do anything with or and I spent. And I spend more time alone than anybody would, would even imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, like what? I mean, That's how long how long could true. you go without any any other contact? Piers, she could live in a house and never turn on a TV. Really? Oh, I, I can't imagine, but it's true. She she, I've been to her house sometimes, and she doesn't even know how to turn on the TV. Like, where is it? Where is the remote? She's just not one of these people that's a big TV watcher. So she's not. It's not something that she's just saying. It's but but true. Oprah, is that because you, you, because of your huge fame and success and so on, that you get so many people who want a piece of you all the time when you're out and about doing your thing? That actually, you really, you know, pride yourself on having time to yourself away from all that. Uh, I think it's that, but I also think that as a little girl growing up. Uh, I was uh, my, my grandmother's only grandchild growing up and I made peace with myself at an early age and I was really content with myself and with books. Now, I'm content being alone, but if you put me alone and there were no books around and there was no way to have any kind of, you know, engagement with the outside world through through books, um, uh, that would be a very sad situation. The, this campaign, opened. Uh, just say hello. We saw a lot of stars there. You're using your star power, as always, to hook in the biggest names. What is, from your point of view, the key point of this campaign? The key point is to let people know that there is power in your being able to just say hello, oh, oh. Thank you, Rita Wilson, That's for Rita that. Wilson. <laughs> Rita Wilson wrote the song. Oh, she did? did you know? Yeah, Rita I Wilson love Rita wrote Wilson. the song yeah. for us. Yeah. Yes, Rita Wilson did that. That there's power in just, um, you know, it sounds cliche to say that if you just smile with some at someone or pay attention to someone. But I don't know if I, I can't remember if I shared this with you uh, three years ago when we talked about the greatest lesson that I learned from the Oprah Winfrey show. And I learned it early on is that every human being, and you can back me up on this, Dr. Gupta, is every human being is looking for one thing, and that is to be validated, right. to be seen, and to be heard. And what I learned on The Oprah Show is that all the interviews that I did, although you know thousands of them and multiple subjects, at the end of almost every interview, in one form or another, somebody would always lean in and say, is that okay? Is that okay? Because, and I, and I started to see that pattern. And what I realized is, is, is that everybody is looking for the same thing, no matter if it's, you know, politicians, senators, presidents, Beyonce and all of her Beyonce-ness are all looking to know, did you see me? Did you hear me? And did what I say mean anything to you? So just saying hello is a way of validating even a stranger.